Okay, now I'm reacting to a Barney episode called A World of Music. And dab in the last reaction video I did. Just before this. I just realized that. I always dab in these videos. Remember that one video where Squidward dabbed? Just start the episode! I want to turn on the light so you can see better, but I think you can see me fine in this lighting. Now it's your turn to spin it, Sean. Okay, here goes the globe. Round there goes the globe. What are they doing? They're they talking about Canada. Where it stops, nobody knows. On the channel with the most amount of Canadian shows ever. PBS had so many Canadian shows. Shows made in Canada or shows filmed and produced in Canada. And their words don't sound like ours. Scotland. I wonder if their clothes are different too. Or their music. Well, you can music. Learn about far away places and their people. I mean, books. it is a world know, of music, just like the title. But I wish we could dummy. fly to other countries and see them ourselves. God damn. If we use our imaginations, we can go anywhere. Can we really visit other countries? Can we? Sure we can. This was uploaded by the Barney Vault, own a channel owned by Sonic Hog. I remember he actually uploaded a music video of the song from Barney's Great Adventure, sung by Bernadette Peters, and he used that clip of Barney coming to life. That was a long time ago, he deleted it. After his old uh, channel, his old channel got, like, terminated. Where are we going first? Oh, that's a surprise, Lucy. Okay, Captain, we're ready for takeoff. Was it him that did the video? I don't know. Whoa. Why's the camera tilted? An airplane looking out the window, watching the clouds go by. I'm so glad I don't have to mute anything out of, of this episode. Looking out the windows, we can see the wings. Down below, we see other things. Like little tiny buildings and cars so small. It makes me feel like I'm really tall. Oh, we are- Okay, I can't sing the song anymore. I can only sing that part. Flying in an airplane, looking out the windows up so very high. Lot of fun. I think when I grow up, I really might be one. But for now, I'm just enjoying being in this plane. Safe from the snow and from the rain. Oh, we are flying an airplane, looking out the window. I can't, I can't sing that part. I can only sing the other part. <laughs> yes, we are flying an airplane. Okay, no, I'm sorry. I can't, I can't. I'm so sorry. I just can't do it. Okay. Hey, should I react to Be My Valentine, Love Barney? I don't know. I feel like I shouldn't because that's on DVD. And I feel like I shouldn't do uh, reactions to episodes of Barney that are on DVD. This is just a freaking playground. And some creepy guy. Yeah. Yeah, good for you, Sean. I cannot pronounce that name, especially with that accent Barney did. Derek and Sean. Well, it's a pleasure to Wait, meet Sean you. waved. Any friends of Barney's are friends of mine. <laughs> I can't take him too now, seriously. Where was I can't take him too seriously with that voice. In the United States, and you've flown all the way over here to Scotland. Ooh, yeah, we can see that. <laughs> Barney, why is he wearing a skirt? That's called it. Why is he wearing a skirt? Oh my god. Special days. 
Stupid mustache keeps getting in my mouth. It gets annoying. Especially when I'm in bed. Mr. McLaren, what's that? Sometimes it's not my mustache or beard that gets in my mouth. I've said too much. I'm sorry for making you all disgusted by that. I'll be happy to play for you. Great! Oh my god! Stop with the torturing! Oh my god! No, don't dance! Oh my god. <laughs> it's like the one episode of iCarly when their teacher was playing bagpipe music. Ah, uh, boo! And the teacher's like, who started the booze? And Sam was like, Gibby. <laughs> And Gibby's like, I am not, it was Sam. I will not be a victim. <laughs> oh, that's Mr. McLaren's way of saying you were very good. Oh, well, she was eating turkey well, bacon you, in Mr. class. McLaren. We think you're Bonnie Bagpipe Player. <laughs> thank you, Lassie. <laughs> well, we better say goodbye to Mr. McLaren for now. We yeah, thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye, character who does not appear in any other Barney episodes. Oh my god. Flying in an airplane. That's the only, like, original sure, Barney song that shows up here. Everything else is just traditional Barney, foreign songs. That's the way people here in Israel say Hello, Ooh, Israel. Children. Wow, we're in Israel? Where is that? You could say yeah, this is probably the closest Scotland. thing to me reacting to a Hebrew Scotland, Barney episode. I don't know how I would react to uh, an episode of Barney in a different language. Uh, I mean, I could do something like that, but yeah. Actually, in the Hebrew version of this episode, uh, this was made during season two in the Hebrew series, and uh, one scene involved these, like, Hawaiian drum dancers or something. It was actually kind of interesting. All I know is that, I only know about that, because the clip showed up in the season 2 intro. Ava Negila. This is a song from Daddy Daycare. You know, when, like, Phil was, like, trying to, like, uh, keep, like, the kids distracted by singing a bunch of songs. Put the lime in the coconut and drink it all up. I say, Doctor! And uh, there's nothing I can say, I say, Doctor! <laughs> That was so funny. They know the song? These kids know the song? Apparently. Maybe I could react to a Hebrew episode. Show you my reactions to how the things are different. And there, talk, talk about the differences between that and the American version. I could do the same thing for the Korean version as well. Wow. Really that desperate for, visiting me. Come again. for viewers, Barney, viewers like you. Doesn't that mean hello? Shalom does mean hello, man, but it also means goodbye and peace. Oh, I get it. How does one word in Hebrew mean, like, three different things? Hello, goodbye, and peace? That makes no sense. What? This is music. Is this instrumental of the airplane song gonna play every time that happens? Oh, jeez. I want you to meet my friend Ife Amani. Ife, these are my friends Lucy, Min, Derek, oh my and God. Sean. Allow me, it's nice to meet you all. Kind of yes, reminds me of Stella the Storyteller. Hey, <laughs> Just what I say. And this was before season and three, and that's where she was introduced on the show. So I'll see them one we're talking about. Which is in Africa. Like, oh my god. What, what do you think we're talking about? Freaking oh, Barney and Backyard you. Gang or something? I already reacted to every Backyard here. Gang episode. I don't need to react to them again. Please don't. Because I would not love to. There was once an ant. 
And this ant was out on a journey. And it was this ant's lucky day because he came upon a voice this big. I feel like I've heard that voice before. All, over it. all he was so happy and so excited to have found this wonderful, delicious crumb. He crumb? knew that if he could get this crumb home to his family, all would all love to eat of this crumb. So he got behind the crumb and he pushed. Uh, then he pulled. Uh, and then he pushed. Uh, and then he pulled. Oh, but it wouldn't move. The crumb was much too heavy for him to Wait, it was too heavy. Home all by himself. First of all, ants can carry like giant pieces of leaves or something. Oh, He can't carry a crumb. Wonderful, delicious crumb home to my family. And the bee said, "Can't you see all this pollen on my back? I'm getting home to my family." And he went on by. Oh my God. So angry, the ant stood back up. He got behind the crumb and he pushed. Just end this already. Oh, and then he pushed. Oh, but it still wouldn't move. Well, he was going to give up. But then there was a beetle. You know about the beetle. The beetle is very, very tricky. The beetle, he saw the beetle coming. He said, oh, beetle, beetle, will you please help me with this crumb, this wonderful, delicious crumb. Get it home to my family. I'm so tired of this. <laughs> the beetle walked right up to the crumb. I can't believe I decided to react to this episode. Chewed it up. It's one of the more rare season one episodes. One of the season one episodes that's not available on home video. Time Life Video, as well as the Lions group themselves, have released almost every single uh, Barney home video uh, on or Barney season one episode on uh, DVD. Well, there was a spider in a tree, and the spider she came down, and she sat next to the ant, and she said, "Well, ant." If you will not take that crumb home to your family, there's I'll like I think six episodes home. from this well, season that are not on no, video. No, some of those crumb. episodes aired on Sprout, but crumb. some episodes like this are and very pulled. hard to find. And then he pushed, and then he pulled, and then he pushed, and then he stopped. I think I can understand why uh, some of those episodes ooh, didn't oh, get released on home video or aired on Sprout. First of all, going places, one of them. Uh, that was, like, I think it was the first episode filmed uh, for the series, because it kind of feels a lot different from other episodes, and the directing and acting and stuff isn't as improved as in other episodes. So, yeah. Oh, that's it for this part.